Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gun Battle Operation 2, and this is a request from Loop Stratos, who wanted a Slave Wraith in the colors of the ARX-7 Arbalest from, I believe, Full Metal Panic. It's another one I've never seen. Saw the beginning of the uh, manga be uh, when uh, New Type USA was running it, and went back when there was a New Type USA, and uh, there were... I I stopped reading or stopped getting the magazine well before there were any mecha involved, so... Um, I forget, I... Does the Slave Wraith have anti-stealth, or am I just too far away from this pixie that, uh, s uh, that its uh, stealth is showing up? Either way, there's a pixie over here, and it went to bomb our base, and that is about to officially not work out for it, because I uh, saw it, and I'm going to go kill it. And let's see, yeah. Uh, Slave Wraith is... It's one of those generals that people find difficult to use because it does not have a dodge roll. This is this is true, it does not, but you can still do quite well with it, especially since it has maneuver armor and some good uh, stun options. It also has the uh, fake beacon skill, which... Uh, uh, keeps, which makes you look like an enemy, or looks makes you look like a friendly on enemy radar. And if you can take good advantage of that, you can do a lot. Got the pixie. Pixie did not eject from the uh, from the mobile suit, meaning I have total I have total uh, carte blanche to uh, defuse this bomb, which is what I'm going to do. And our team has managed to actually get a lead despite being a, well. It's an even fight because they were each each side was down a mobile suit. And now I am going to head back to the action. And yeah, I think the Arbalest colors worked out pretty well on the Slave Wraith. It did, they didn't quite work out in, on the legs, which should be have some of the uh, dark gray on them as well. But I was not able to, uh, as not a, you can't really do multicolor on the Slave Wraith legs. So this is uh, where we wound up. Uh, I decided to go back through the tunnel, one, because I thought I might get a chance to get around behind the enemy and use the beacon to uh, confuse them, and two, the kind of player who will bomb this early in the round will frequently try it twice, so I thought it might be worth just coming around the long way to see if I could catch them by surprise. No such luck, but I'm at least back to the action and hopefully back to somewhere where I can do some good. Somebody coming out of the trench, I think it's a Gun Cannon Heavy D? Either way, I'm going to take a shot at it. No, it is a Gym Cannon 2. There's a difference. Used my Flash Bomb, which did not work. I think it kind of connected with the shield or something, but either way... I forgot I only have one swing. That would have been a downswing if I had been thinking about that. But got that shot off and decided to pull back as hard as I could because saw someone coming up behind that Gym Cannon 2 and knew I was de uh, dead if I didn't move. I'm dead anyway, though, because I am totally surrounded. I am not even going to bother send, uh, sending for help, because this one's totally on me. I put myself in this situation. Nothing I can really... That nobody's fault but mine. I got separated from the group. I did at least do something valuable while I was separated from the group, but... Yeah, it was... I, w I was in the middle of the enemy formation. I shouldn't have been. Oh, I got the pixie on, again on my way out. That's something. So maybe I don't die here. Maybe I actually lasted long enough to do some more good. Gonna try to anyway. I'm back with the allies uh, now where I can hopefully survive a little longer and do and do some damage. And that person decided to take a shot at the wrong uh, enemy basically because if they had taken that shot at me instead I probably would have just died. And they would have been uh, back to one on one. They did not do this though so I, I am uh, here to help a little bit. I'm probably going to... Uh, Probably going to die soon, but I, I should at least be able to do uh, do some damage here and there. Landed that shot pretty square. Somebody else is going to go up and get the kill. That's fine as long as the kill is got. I am not really in any kind of shape to do any really involved close range fighting anyway, which is why I'm hanging back and using those. Almost got the kill. Didn't quite do it. Going to fire my last rocket I, in a second if I can. And, yeah, I'm going to die in a, a second because I am just in a real nice, easy-to-shoot spot up on this hill and somebody's going to get me. Or maybe not. Yeah, I forgot how long I lasted on this single life, which is not bad. Now that there's a bunch of them gathering down there, I expect them to get me, but that's... it's okay. I don't know. I, man, I really did forget how, man, uh, how long I managed not to die on this. Because that's... 
Yeah, I still, I am still alive from the beginning of the round. I have not dropped once, so that's pretty good for me. I am now going to stop and get some repairs in, and something keeps vibrating. Something keeps vibrating my controller. I think it's near misses because my health does not appear to be dropping. But yes, I got a couple of those, so I think I stopped repairing before my repair tool ran out and just, yeah, just decided to leave because I was mostly by myself and things were rattling my controller, which is not a good thing. See, the some the uh, Gelga ground sent for support. I really should have stayed. I don't think I saw that tell the first time, which is why I wandered off and left them to their own devices after they very kindly and patiently guarded me, because apparently I was not all there brain-wise. So that was, that was really kind of bad. Let's see, we've uh, just trying to fight this gym three. I've got low health, but it is doable, and I decide to go over here and help number five because if I have uh, trouble with gym three, hopefully number five can back me up. Caught the ca uh, counter on the gym three. It's on the ground, and rather than do anything to it, I'm going to circle around so that I can face the other enemy. The other enemy is down that hole, so I can fa uh, focus on the gym three, which managed to miss both of us. Caught the downswing damage, did not get the, uh, get the knockdown. Our Galgan ground type seems to have survived for my callousness, so that's something at least. Got that shot in, throwing a flash. I'm nearly dead again, but got the kill there. That was a Jim Quell, I believe. And might no, might probably a customer from the shoulders. Either way, I just sent nice because that that Jim and I worked really well. Or no, I think it was Zaku and I worked really well together. And there's the pixie again. So I'm gonna see what I can do. What I can do is probably get the kill again. Yep. So yeah, we are doing really well. I am still on my first life. I don't think I I don't think I know death this, but I think I do pretty well. There's only a minute left, so I may single death this and then not have time to respawn, something like that. At this point, they are going to get me though, because I am just rushing in face first to uh, help the other person who's rushing in face first. And yeah, now I get killed because they're dead too. Yeah, so not my best plan. Not not my best plan at all. They're saying defend the area. That's a good idea. We probably should have been defending rather than uh, pushing at that mo uh, point. But I wanted to uh, I wanted to uh, try and back them up. And also, we had such a lead that I thought we could not be overtaken by uh, rushing there. We were not overtaken, but they got within spitting distance of us. So, yeah, um, should have been a little more careful all around. But it happens. Let's see, uh, whoever was sending support me is now dead. Not much I can do about that, but I can uh, I can fight this pixie one more time. It got maneuver armor through my uh, attack. It did take the damage. Not sure if that got maneuver armor or what, but I managed to uh, I managed to surprise it with that downswing and land another before the round ended. So I think we managed to broaden our lead a little bit. So all is well. And yeah, we we pulled it off, and I, you know, except for abandoning that ground type Gelga like I should, I think it went fairly well. Twenty nine hundred points. I am the top scorer. That Isaac, I think it is, did uh, really well on everything else. Let's see, um, sixty four thousand damage, six kills, and yeah, one death. So, not bad at all. And that is gonna do it for today's Gun and Battle Operation Two. Hope you liked the round and the color scheme loop. And until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! So recently on a whim, I decided to get a kit out of uh, Bandai's 30-minute missions line, which they're 1144 scale kits. They use the fine build system that uh, a lot of the uh, various uh, army builder mobile suits uh, in the high grade line and the upcoming entry grade Gundam all use. and. I really kind of like that. The uh, uh, the fine build system uses 3mm clips, which I'd actually seen used to great effect in Transformers about 7-8 years ago, and do just as well, if not a little better, here. And yeah, it's an interesting little system and an interesting little line, and I feel like if they were to design a new like Gundam build series around that particular setup, they could do really well. Either way, they're fairly cheap little kits, and they're uh, fun to mess with, so I definitely don't regret getting it.